The spotlight is back on the Martin Theater. Design plans for an inside remodel were presented at this morning's Panama City Commission meeting. The downtown staple was severely damaged in Hurricane Michael, and the city's been working to revitalize the structure ever since. News 13's Anna Hoffman tells us the plans are not final, but everyone is excited to bring the theater back to life. Before the storm, the Martin Theater marquee shined bright in downtown Panama City. A little culture in the middle of a town that was going down. The theater is a prominent structure in the city, so seeing the damage hit close to home for many. But some locals say the desire to fix the theater back up is what is really important. And I think that shows the resilience of, of the character of the town. The city has been working on the exterior repairs for about a year, but recently started meeting with focus groups to design the interior. This is what they came up with. The Martin Theater will combine with the DIB building next door. More seating, an open lobby, a VIP lounge, and a rooftop bar or event space. Their goal is to make the space multifunctional and able to generate revenue for itself. There is no set timeline for when the construction on the inside of the theater will begin, but city officials say the show must go on and it will be back better than ever. The Martin Theater is an icon to our community. Uh, it's in the hub of the what will be the plaza at the intersection of 4th and Harrison and uh, what a great venue uh, it will become. We're so fortunate to have the Arts District in the downtown of Panama City. It's an anchor from the past, but then it's a beacon for the future. The next step is to move forward and finalize the design, then settle on a cost. In Panama City, Anna Hoffman, News 13, Panhandle Strong. The historic charm will start to be noticeable at the Martin Theater in mid-November when the Grand Marquis is lifted back to its place.